Hi everybody. Um, I wanted to, I made some cute little gift boxes yesterday for Thanksgiving um, for family, and I need to make one more because um, my son painted this little turkey. Um, isn't it cute? This little three-year-old painting job, and I need to give it to my mother-in-law. Um, so the paper I'm going to be using is from the Harvest Gathering Stack. I got the idea from this box from um, Kimber. I think it's called. It was Kimberly's. No, Kimber Creations on YouTube. Um, I'll link to her video down below, but I want to do this really quick so I can get it on here and show you guys. So 12 by 12 piece of paper, score at 4 and 8, turn it, score at 4 and 8. Okay, now here's the hardest part. You're going to want to, you need to score in along this diagonal right here. So with the Martha Stewart scoreboard, it comes with this envelope maker, and I kind of use this to cheat it a little bit. So I put this in the very, very corner and put this point at six, and um, I run it right down, and it goes right to the point. And then you're going to do that on every corner. This is the hardest part, but um, if you can get this done, the whole rest of the box, or it's a little gift bag is simple. So um, you're also going to need a piece of coordinating cardstock or other pattern paper cut to four and four and a half. And, uh, and that's going to be the little topper. So okay, now that we've got this, fold up, I turn it on the back side, fold up all the sides. I'm hoping you're seeing all this because my camera kind of cuts off. but pull up all the sides and then I actually like to kind of pinch these without try not to crease the center but pinch these up as well they don't have to be perfect because you're gonna actually fold them here in a second okay now here's the most complicated part and it's really not that complicated you can really start anywhere and I'm just gonna use some of this like score TV stuff and I'm just gonna put some here and depending on what you're gonna hold in here is how strong you're going to want to put this. Let me make sure I'm on camera. I'm not. Okay. So, I put some score tape here. And, um, here we go. And uh, I'm going to fold one of these diagonals in on it. So, very simple. You could put more on here, but this is just for this little uh, trinket thing. So, it's not going to be a lot. Then I'm going to put some score tape here. And I'm, I usually put just a smidge here. Um, you could use a tape runner. You could use hot glue. Um, hot glue would be kind of tough because it wouldn't make it lay very flat. And then just fold this back on itself. So what you've made is you just made that corner. You can even see it with my lights that it kind of shines through. So you're going to do the same exact thing on this side. So you're going to make it go like this. And then you're going to flip it and do the exact same folds on the other side. Um, so let me, actually I'm just gonna kinda hold it together like this, because I don't want this video to be too long. So that's the top, that's how your box is going to end up. And so a perfect little square without a top. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to take, two of the sides are gonna be really strong because you have all those layers. You're gonna then kinda pinch it together like this, and that's, you're gonna set that aside. Now, take your four by four and a half piece. Am I on camera? Yep. Your four by four and a half piece. All I did is I punched the sides with this knockout punch. And I scored it on my scoreboard at two and two and a half. Punched holes right there with just a hole punch. I don't have a crop of dial or anything, just a little hole punch. And then I just ran a ribbon through and tied it. You're then going to take, you're gonna glue down one side. And you're going to stick it to one of the sides, one of the strong sides. You, you, if you make this, you'll see what I mean. And then I'm going to put a piece of Velcro on this side and stick it down so it's easy to open. But that, in essence, is the little box. And it's really cute. Um, you could decorate, stamp on here, use a different coordinating paper on here if you'd like. Um, it turns out really, really cute. And there you go. Quick little tip video. Bye.